Hey bro chicas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna be doing a chill, get ready with me. I'm just gonna do my makeup and we're just gonna talk just cause I haven't done this in a very, very long time. I actually don't do makeup stuff on my channel anymore. Um, but I have had some people ask for this, so I was like, let me just show them what my regular foundation routine is now and just how I do my makeup and what products I'm using if you are interested. So we are also going to talk about some funny weird comments that I get on my channel and I'm just going to update you on life and everything. So if you're interested in seeing what my current makeup routine like everyday makeup routine is then just keep watching. Also want to mention that we are in my new room of course if you don't watch my vlogs or anything like that I did move so I have a different house and I'm in a different city uh, what I do love about it is that I have a lot of bright windows the only thing is I didn't know how to set up my camera so this is kind of weird but you guys are behind me and I'm looking at the mirror to you it's really weird but this is the only way that I could get good lighting towards my face. So first things first, I'm gonna moisturize. Um, I'm just using the rest of my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is for the combination to oily skin. I don't have that much left, so I kind of have to take the pump out and, ooh, that's probably way too much, and put it on my face. But I just got out of the shower and I haven't moisturized yet, so. I figured I'd tell you guys what I was using. I've had this for over a year. It lasted really long. I think this is the jumbo size. I wombo, you wombo, he, she, me, wombo. I think it was like $35. Not too bad because it's really, really gentle on your skin. If you have like sensitive skin or acne prone skin, it works out really well. It doesn't add to any of my breakouts. It doesn't clog my pores. It's non-comedogenic. And uh, this is what I've just been using for a long time. I got it at Dollar Tree. It's just the Blistex Lip Med X Cooling Relief for Lips. And I do like the cooling effect. That's why I prefer this over anything else for my lips. Because I don't know why. But I love a minty cool feel. So this is kind of fun. I haven't done makeup on camera in a long time. And people keep asking me for it. I'm just like never in the mood because honestly, they take a lot of editing. And I, don't get me wrong, like I love editing videos, but I guess I kind of lost interest in the whole makeup YouTube thing. And I don't even watch that many makeup YouTube tutorials anymore. I'm just more interested in vlogging now and in fitness and my keto life and thrifting. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with thrifting now. But yeah, that's why I haven't, um, I haven't done one of these videos in super, super long, but I have a whole week off of work and it's because I just transferred. So they already had the three week schedules out. So I'm on the third week out, which is going to be next week now. And she didn't have any shifts to like kind of give me for this week. So I had the whole week off and I was like, girl, what are you doing? Let's get some videos out. So to be honest, on a typical day, like if I'm just in a rush putting my makeup on for work, I won't use a primer. But if I do use a primer, um, I'll use this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. It's just a deluxe sample that I got in a skin ugh, a skincare set a long time ago from Sephora. And I do like this lately because I've been using my acne medication again and it's been drying out my skin real bad. So I do like using a luminizing primer nowadays. It just feels really, really good. And then the foundation that I have been continuing to use, and I feel like I mentioned it in a haul a long time ago, whatever the last makeup video was, whether it was a favorites or a makeup haul, I mentioned this and it's still my favorite from the drugstore. I absolutely love it. It is the Re Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. You guys know how obsessed I was about the Estee Lauder foundation, the double wear stay in place, and I still love that foundation, don't get me wrong. 
but it's very expensive and I no longer work for Estee Lauder so I no longer get a discount. So I like to reserve that for super special occasions like I'm gonna be going to a wedding in August I'll probably wear it to the wedding because I know that if I need 24 hours wear out of that foundation I can get it and it looks flawless but if you need a drugstore version of the Estee Lauder stay in place that is a fraction of the price but works very similarly this is it because you guys what i love to do is wear a cheap foundation during the week you know to work where i'm just like not needing it to last for super long not doing too much special stuff i like a cheaper version of the estee lauder one and i couldn't find one i mean i searched high and low i tried covergirl maybelline i tried so many brands and i couldn't find something that truly compared to how that foundation works on my skin until I found this one and this one came out last year I believe and I'm obsessed with it it dries matte it stays on pretty long not as long as the Estee Lauder but I mean longer than the Maybelline Fit Me longer than the CoverGirl what was that matte one this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made um, longer than any L'Oreal foundation I've tried. It lasts way longer. It's very comfortable and lightweight on the skin. It is matte, but it's not drying. Um, it's full, full coverage. I mean, there's just so many things I like about this foundation. It doesn't make me oily, and because some matte foundations make me more oily than I was before I put it on. And so, yeah, I just highly recommend this one. I've been using it for a long time, so I have a backup bottle. Like, okay, so this is what I've been doing. I use F7. This is my, F7 is my um, not tan shade. And then I wanted to get a tan shade, but they didn't have the color I wanted to get, which I think was F10. And they were having a buy one, get one 50% off at Ulta. And this was like weeks and weeks ago. But anyways, they did have one F7, so I got a backup. And the only other one with a golden undertone that they had that was deeper is F12. So this is super deep. But now that I'm really tan, what I've been doing is kind of like contouring with foundation. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, I like to just put F7 in the center of my face. And this makes it really easy for like when I'm going to work and I don't have time to like spend on contouring or who wants to spend the time on like a super snatched contour when you're just going to work. And then I go ahead with the darker shade, which I'm using F12 right now. And I'll just put this in the places that I would put contour. Basically just the whole perimeter of my face. I don't know who I got this idea from. I feel like it was somebody I worked with at Dillard's. Okay, and then I'm just using a real tech technique sponge. My God, I can't speak. And there's really no rhyme or reason to how I do it. I just blend it out. Somehow magically it comes out looking good. I've been really liking sponges again because it's so hot outside that I love the cooling feeling of a sponge, a wet sponge on my face. Cause I was using brushes for a really long time and now I'm just like back on the sponge kick. Okay, and now we're looking tan and matching our body. So I didn't even self tan my body guys I just had to self tan my stomach and like my cleavage because it is Full-on summer now in Texas and I've just been getting super tan arms and I put my arm up against my stomach and it was so hilarious the color difference so I literally just keep self tanner around for my cleavage and my stomach and back because those are the parts that don't get tan but I am naturally tan. Thank you, Texas Sun. Now we're gonna go into concealer. I've been using the same concealer for super, super long. This is the second one I've ever bought and it is the Tarte Shape Tape. I have mine in the shade Light Neutral and uh, I don't put that much. I used to go ham and I realized it was too much going on so I literally just do this. I try to bring some on the side of my nose and it kind of does like a reverse contouring. And I'm gonna bake. And uh, that powder is just the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. Been using that for a long time too. 
you probably recognize it. And then for the outer perimeter of my face, I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Loose Finishing Powder. I love this powder. Like, there's something about it. It's like a filter. So, like, if you felt like you didn't get as much coverage from your full coverage foundation, put this on after. It's not a powder foundation, but for some reason, it kind of, like, blurs imperfections. I don't know. I really love this powder. This is in the shade uh, 20 Light Medium. Let's talk about those really funny comments that I get. And I was gonna make a separate video, but I was like, I just don't know how to go about this, like how to make a separate video on this, but it is so funny. On so many different um, videos, I have several people, and I'll put up a bunch of like screenshots of it. I have so many people telling me that I look like iCarly, the girl from iCarly. And what's, what is her name? Why can I think of her name right now? I don't know why, like, I guess cause I'm on the spot. I can't think of her name, but it's the main character from iCarly and I'll put her name down below on the screen. I don't know, I'm, I feel so dumb that I can't think of her name right now. That's so, that's so stupid. But anyways, I have so many people telling me that I look like this girl and I just think it is so funny. I just had to address it because <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, you know, I guess like we both have dark hair. We both have big lips. Is that, is that the comparison? You know, it's really just, we both have big lips. I don't know. Um, I kind of see it, but I kind of don't see it. I guess if she got really curvy and got tattoos, I guess we could be twinning um, but I think she's really pretty so it's definitely like a compliment and then other people think that I look like Kaylee from Teen Mom or something like that and I'm like I completely don't see it but okay thank you sure and then it's like sometimes I don't know if the comments are meant to be like an insult or if they're meant to be like a compliment I'm never sure I really don't know because there was there was one that said like if Javi and Kaylin made a baby or something or well I don't know one of the dudes from Teen Mom and her made a baby that's what I would look like it is just too funny I've had somebody tell me that I look like what is that girl's name from like one of the original Teen Moms and she was super mean she had a little girl I think the little girl had blonde hair but like she was just super angry all the time Amber people tell me that I look like her too and I'm like okay sure whatever <laughs> um but yeah i just wanted to address that and put up these little screenshots for you because i thought it was so funny and i'm like okay i'll take it whatever i will just take a little bit of my mac give me sun and, and just a little bit because you know it can get crazy and i'll just put a little bit of bronzer right here And a little bit up here, just one swipe, guys. Nothing crazy, my hair is crazy though. And then I'll take a little bit on my nose. I don't like to fuss with nose contour on a day-to-day -day basis. I only do that for special occasions. Now I'm going to, do I want blush today? Like on a day to day basis, I don't even do that much blush, but you know what? I'm going to take this Estee Lauder blush in brazen bronze because it kind of looks like a bronzer. And I'm going to spray myself with the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. I'm going in with my makeup, Re man, I just love makeup revolution, huh? Going in with the Makeup Revolution Highlighting Quad. And this is in Ignite. That's the name of the quad. There it is. And then I like to mix the gold and the pinky shade together. And that's my everyday highlight. This is the brush I typically do nose contour with and it just, whatever it has left, I'll just kind of do this just to make sure that the highlight 
is only on the center center of my nose because that's what makes it look uh, thin and pointy, I guess. And then I spray again. All right, for eyebrows, it has gotten so simple, guys, because first of all, they're microbladed. I am losing some color. Um, I should get a touch up, but ain't nobody got money for that. <laughs> um, but I've become so lenient with my brows now because they do have a nice shape. So what I do is I just use a brow mascara. This is the one from Ulta, but I use a bunch of brands like Essence has a $3 one. So this just has a little tiny brush, pretty much like the Benefit Give Me Brow. And it's in the shade Deep. And I like to just go through my brows with this product first. Okay, so it looks kind of messy and furry and weird, right? So then I'll just go in with a brow pencil. This one is a Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Ash Brown. And I like to do a lighter one in the middle and a darker one on the edges. It just helps it look, I guess, like more natural. And I only go in on the sparse areas. I don't go ham. I just kind of fill in where I don't have hair. All right, and I just try to go quickly. Like, I don't want them to be super chola and too perfect anymore. I'm just not going for that look anymore. And then I will use a darker shade. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation in deep brown. And the re only reason I have two different brown, I mean, two different brands of eyebrow pencil is because this is the one I started with, and then I started to want to do the lighter on the inner corner. So I just got that one because it's cheaper than this one. And it works the same, honestly. The Wet n Wild and Elf eyebrow products are awesome. So I'll just take this on the tail. And just fill it in so it's a little bit deeper. They look a little messy. So I'm going to take my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the pot. This is the shade Beige. And I take a little concealer flat brush like this. And this is how I clean them up. So I'm curious to know how you guys are doing. Like, tell me what's up. Is there anything exciting going on in your lives? Like how I just moved. So that was a big event for me. But I'm just always curious to know, like, what's happening in y'all's lives? Like... And if you do tell me if something exciting is happening in your life, will you tell me where you're from? I love finding out like what cities you guys are from or what states you guys are from. It's like really interesting. I did just have a conversation with a subscriber in the comments of my thrifting video and she lives very close by here and she used to live in the town I'm living in now. And it's like, whoa, what a small world. Like, I think it's so cool. So, you know, let me know what's going on. Do you have any plans for the summer? Are you going on vacation? Are you going to weddings? Um, just let me know what's going on in your life. I would love to hear it. I love talking to you guys. And honestly, you're my only friends right now. So I'm really glad to have you. Thank you so much for always sticking with me and watching my videos because if it wasn't for this, I feel like I'd be pretty depressed. It's kind of weird moving to a new town and I don't know just like not knowing anybody and I don't work as much as I used to work so I'm just in my house all the time and it's just a weird feeling you know I know I'll get established here and I just moved here it's only been two weeks but it is a very weird feeling and my husband is at work a lot and I'm just here with the kids and I know like once my daughter starts school again I will meet some parents and you know she'll have play dates and maybe we'll make friends that way and I know I have a couple of friends that are willing to come visit me but yeah just right now it just feels weird it feels like I'm on a vacation that's going to end but I'm not like I'm living here I don't know what I do think is great about this place is it's basically all developments. Like this town is full of housing developments, like very nice HOA communities, very beautiful, well-kept 
um, brand new and all the communities they have parks and pools in them which is really nice and it's a very safe just really nice community and I did go to the park the first week we were here with the kids and we met a little boy and his dad and he was like we just moved here too and um, do you belong to the Facebook group and so he told me about a Facebook group that they have so I did join it and it's nice everybody's super nice we take care of each other and I guess they have like movie nights in the development and I was like that's so nice and then you know my kids can meet other kids and I can meet parents and you know I think they have something on Saturday it's like a movie night at the park so I don't know may or may not go to that um, I'm not gonna do like eyeshadow I'm going to however put something in my crease so I'm just gonna take this dirty fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back into the highlighting quad and this is like a I think it's a blush I wasn't recording wow what a fail that is so annoying because right here on my watch it was telling me that I'm recording because I can see a playback of what's happening and I was in a frame and everything and no it didn't record everything I just did and everything I just said oh my gosh I'm so sad what a fail this is why I don't do makeup tutorials guys this is my favorite mascara right now it's the voluminous lash paradise and waterproof and there's mixed reviews about this like some people love it some people hate it but I really really like it and it reminds me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which I have tried before and some people say it doesn't compare to that, but I really feel like it does. I really, really like this mascara. I've repurchased it a couple times. But yeah, what I was talking about anyways, was that it feels very weird like living here because like I don't have any friends here and I don't really know anybody and I barely work now. Like I only work like 12 to 15 hours a week, which is so, that's like less than half of what I used to work. And so it's very, very weird to be home all the time and to not like know people. It just feels so weird right now, like being in a town where you don't know anybody, you don't know the town like the back of your hand and you're in your house all the time. It honestly feels like I'm on a vacation that's gonna end, but I'm not, like I live here. So it's just a weird feeling. Like I've gotten into a groove in my house, but I feel like I wanna get out more because I don't know it just just feels weird to be in your house all the time I don't know how people do it also something else that has been freaking me the f out is we're like in the country now so the wildlife is a little crazy um I saw two snakes in my yard the day before yesterday and then I one in the front yard one in the backyard and then I saw the snake again in the backyard yesterday I am freaking out. Luckily, it wasn't a poisonous snake because I looked it up online and I was like, you know what? I think I need to educate myself on reptiles now because I can't be having my children be in danger of poisonous okay. snakes. I had to go <laughs> fix my camera. Um, it's just doing something very weird right now where it's like filming and then it stops filming. And then I thought I didn't film something, but it actually did film something. Something really weird is going on with my phone. It wasn't poisonous, but I'm still like, ew, like uh, it's just creepy. And I don't even want to let my kids like run in the yard because I'm like so scared. <laughs> so I'll probably just take them to the park. But even when I take them to the park, I go around and I'm like, <laughs> just to like scare them off because they don't like vibra vibrations. And when they hear loud noises, they scurry. So I don't know. I'm scared of snakes. I used to love them when I was little and now I'm just a scaredy cat and I'm terrified of them. So I just don't want to come across them whether they're poisonous or not. But yeah, that's my life now, dealing with the wildlife. I'm just gonna finish up. I like to, once my mascara dries, I like to curl it again and put more mascara. And then I'm gonna put a lippy on. This is the reality of what my vanity looks like right now. It is a complete mess. Still have to put that together. But I am just going to wear these black American Eagle shorts. I actually got these from Cleo's Closet last summer, I believe. And then this purple little lilac gap shirt that I just cropped. I just thrifted this in my last thrift with me video. Now I need to put some sort of a lip 
product on. I usually just go with like a clearish gloss, but I don't know where I have it. I think it's downstairs in my purse actually. Let's use this one. This is the Morphe Gloss in Freebird. Yeah, this will do. Also, every time I wear this gloss, I get a compliment. So if I was ever wearing a gloss, and you were like, oh my God, what is that gloss? It's probably this one. It's kind of like a nude brown tint. They smell really good, kind of like cupcakes, and they are not sticky. So you gotta love that. Voila, that is all I do for chill makeup. Now I'm going to do something with my hair. Lately, I've just been putting it into a clip because it's what's easiest. Oh, I have foundation on my hair. So I just kind of take these little, these are little cheap makeup removers and I like to just do this because the powder gets on my hair and I have black hair so it's not cute. I'm just gonna put some of this um, Hask Keratin Protein Smoothing Shine Oil. Cause after I brush my hair, it kind of gets like frizzy like this. And the ends of my hair are so dead because I take the straightener to it. That's why I try to just not use heat on it as much as I can. Maybe like one to two times a week I'll use heat, but only a little bit, just so that the ends don't look crazy. But that's why my ends are kind of fried. That hair oil smells so good. I don't even know what to call it. it. Smells like watermelon. Is that watermelon? Kinda. Okay, so now it looks a little more silky. We don't wanna look raggedy, you know? And my best friends have been clips, hair clips because I just don't care to spend a lot of time on my hair, but I do want to look put together, you know? So I've just been using hair clips like no tomorrow. I'm running out of battery guys um, and then I take this little toothbrush that I only use for my hair I do not use this on my teeth guys only on my hair and I'll take this edge gel uh, by cream of nature with argan oil from Morocco and it's called perfect edges and I'll take a little bit of this and smooth out my edges so everything looks purposefully done I don't like my flyaways to just be hanging out wherever. And also it's annoying because it's really hot. So having them slicked down makes a huge difference. And I'll just get the sides here too. Just so that they stay downwards and then if I depending on what I'm doing that day I'll like give myself a little spray I got these from Dollar Tree this is a crazy value I don't know if they still carry them but it's the baby list pro miracle Mira curl hairspray and this is worth like ten dollars or more and for some reason a few months back my Dollar Tree had it so you know I snatched it up so I'll just do a tiny bit, just so it stays in place how I want it. 
and then I also take this spray but you can have whatever spray you want or you don't have to add it but this is also the babyless pro mirror curl thermal shine spray I also found this at Dollar Tree and I got a backup because I love it so much and it's a really fine mist because sometimes my hair can look a little like just dull so I really like adding a little bit of that shine And then I'll just put my little tunnels in. I'm just gonna put black today because I'm wearing black shorts. And then I have my black nose ring. And I'm liking this black and purple vibe right now. If I was going out, I would put lashes on and it would just kick up this look even more. But I am not doing anything today sad life here is the finished product just chill you know t-shirt denim shorts oh so jiggly um this is just what i wear on like a typical day if i was gonna go shopping or i guess like grocery shopping i mean let's be honest most of the time I would not put makeup on to go grocery shopping, but because I've just been so bored and I don't have anything else to do, I would never wear makeup if I didn't put makeup on for little occasions like that because I never go anywhere. But yeah, this is just cute. I would do like a day date or if we went out to lunch somewhere, I would wear something like this. I've been absolutely loving to wear crop tops like this lately, just cute little t-shirt crop tops. I wish I had little, you know, those little tiny little Y2K sunglasses. <gasps> if I had some lilac ones, that would be super cute. And maybe like a lilac belt would be adorable. I think this would look really cute with Doc Martens. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me what do i wear what do i look like on just like a chill everyday summer day this is it hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be aware whenever i post content hit the bell as well i don't know how often you guys get notified when i upload but definitely hit the bell they have a new specification on it where you can get notifications for the certain kind of videos that you like from me so definitely Hit the bell below. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.